Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and this is another extract from our Intro to Auto Hockey course. A lot of people get confused at should they have one script versus many scripts. When you first start with Auto Hockey, it really gets confusing of like, well, I can push them all into one script, but then I could have each one separate, and it's very confusing as to when you do one over the other and why. So this video here, it's a great example from our Intro to Auto Hockey course of what you learn and how basic and simple it is, how our courses are divided up. I think this one was two and a half minutes on its own. So they're very concise, simple things. Check out the course. Um, you might really enjoy it. Have a great day. Cheers. Please like the video if you learned something. It really helps us out. After a while of playing without a hotkey, you will find your, yourself with a lot of little scripts that do different things. Like, for example, one of them just opens up a window and logs you into a specific service and another one just goes ahead and launches a specific program that you work with very often and others are tools that you wrote yourself and so on now there's a time that everybody that i've met come to this question should i have a lot of different little scripts or have one script that launches all my personal stuff this actually boils down to preference. It depends on whatever you want to do. Uh, but it is really common that people have one master script that contains all your personal hotkeys, all your personal hot strings, and that it also launches other scripts and programs that might be out there or that you created so that you don't have to be searching for them. Actually, I created something similar 10 years ago, which is Auto Hotkey Toolkit. And if you take a look at it, you will notice that how I did it is that I just created a list view and all of them, I have different scripts that I run with different hotkeys. And I had many other hotkeys, the things that with time I have consolidated everything into one, but I had a lot of actually <laughs> hotkeys for different little tools that I was using all the time. So this is one way, this is one method is not exactly the obvious one but many other people find it easier to just create one file that does one thing and they just use a finder like say for example the windows finding function or any launcher that they have and then just go ahead and launch it from there again this is basically a personal decision but either way whether it's a master script or little scripts that you do yourself, you will find yourself usually kind of like um, trying to add them to startup so that when you start your computer, there's a few things already running. Uh, and if you want to do that, you can use uh, the startup script that we created that allows you to set up um, programs and scripts into your registry to go ahead and run things automatically when Windows start. Just use the link to go ahead and download it. And that way you can set up your main script to just launch automatically when Windows starts.